Hello, BookTube. I finished 1942 by Robert Conroy a couple days ago, and I read American Gods, the comic book, I don't think that's what they call it, graphic novel. The graphic novel was not very good at all, so I would encourage you not to mess with it. It comes in like three or four parts, like they're trying to mooch the money out of the series, I guess. Um, and for the price, it definitely isn't worth it. $30, so with tax, it'd be like $35, $36. Yeah, it's definitely not worth the price. The art is 50-50, but not really all that great. Um, this is part of Dark Horse Comic Books. And it's part of the Neil Gaiman Library, or Gaiman Library. I don't know how to pronounce it. Probably not Gaiman. Um, 1940, 1942, um, I'd have to say it was exceptionally good. It got me excited. It was a good book. Um... The Japanese commit a surprise attack on Pearl Harbor, which happened in real life, and they invade Pearl Harbor. Um, the guerrilla, guerrilla war that pursues... I'm sorry, I'm using my cell phone because my computer went bloop. Um, this is pretty much what the back says. It says the Japanese surprise attack on Pearl Harbor was a resounding success, except for one detail. A second bombing mission to destroy crucial oil storage facilities was aborted that day. Now in this gripping, stunning work of alternative history, Robert Conroy reimagines December 7th, 1941 to include the attack the Japanese didn't launch. It's a thrilling tale of war, resistance, sacrifice, and courage for when Admiral Izoroku Yamamoto sees how badly the United States has been ravaged in a two-pronged strike. He devises another, more daring proposal, an all-out invasion of Hawaii to put a stronghold on the American Pacific Fleet. Um, there are aspects of war in this uh, rape in this book, which were kind of I didn't much uh, enjoy. I did not like that part. Um, once again, there's a romance trope, which seems to be in every one of his books, which I find exhausting and very, very tiring. Um, I mean, how many every one of his books? It seems like there's a couple that falls in love, or two couples. I mean, I know war seems to strengthen the libido, but this is a little bit crazy. I don't read alternative history to read a romance book. I mean, if I wanted to romance, I'll pick up a, I don't know, who writes romance? Sue Grafton, maybe? I don't know. I think she does mystery, but, um, yeah. I definitely would encourage you to, like, read this book. It is fascinating. Um, the naval, the naval battles are exceptional and very detailed. Um, the artillery bat, the artillery and invasion battles are good. My favorite part of this book, I'd have to say, was all the resistance movements that took place in Hawaii. The thing about Robert Conroy's books is they teach you geography. It seems like every one of his books that I get, one way or another, I always end up looking at a map, trying to figure out where everything is. So I guess, as uh, Ambrose Bierce would say, war is, Amer is God's way of teaching Americans geography. Um, please like and subscribe for further videos. <sighs> That's what I get for drinking too much coffee. Um, I shall see you guys later, and I look forward to seeing you again.